guys welcome back to another interesting topic today's topic is on round robin arbitration in round robin arbitration all the agents or the sources have equal priority to access the common resources but since we have the equal priority we need to grant each of the resource in turns so let us understand round robin arbitration through a small example so as you can see over here this is my park where we have triplets and they want to slide down through this slide so the first person to climb this ladder will be the person who is near to this slide. So this person will climb the ladder and slide down. So when he needs to slide down again, he needs to come in a order. That means his position will be at last. Next the red person will go and next the blue and then only the green person can access the ladder. So this is a process. We have equal priority for each of them and each of them can access this slide until they come down of the slide. So this person can take five minutes to climb and slide down within one minute and the blue person can take one minute to climb and slide down. So each of them are getting their turns but the usage of the slide will be based upon the person physicality or how much fit a person is. So this is a basic random example on round robin arbitration. So now let us understand round robin arbitration through waveforms. So here I'm considering two agents, agent 0 and agent 1. So agent 0 will start and then we will give the turn to agent 1 and then agent 0 and then agent 1. So as you can see over here, the request signals of both the agents are high at this clock edge. When both of them are high, first turn will go to the agent 0. As a result, we will give the grant for the agent 0 and it can access the resources and it can transfer the data. When the data transfer or the process is completed, it will indicate it by the end of transaction pulse. When this pulse is being received, then we can say that the process of agent 0 is being done and now let us grant the signal to the agent 1. Since the agent 1 requires the resources, now we are granting it to the agent 1. Now the agent 1 can transfer a data or do whatever it wants with the resources. After the transaction is completed, we will give back the grant to the agent 0 if the request is high. So the main problem with this round robin arbitration is that the agent can keep the resources as long as it wants. For example, here the request 0 can keep the resources as long as it wants by not giving this end of transaction signal. So that's the major problem with the round robin arbitration. So mainly we use this type of arbitration in PCI Express switch or Ethernet switch and where the, we need to send the data in packet based forms. So this is the basic understanding of a round robin arbitration and I will discuss how to design this round robin arbitrations in upcoming videos and thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and do subscribe. It will help me a lot and thanks for watching.